Are we live now? No. Yes, we're live. Hi there, everyone. Sorry for the delay. We had a few gremlins um, in the system, as we do. So uh, first of all, I just want to introduce to Sarah. Sarah, um, this is everybody else in the group. Um, and I'll go through and introduce Sarah in a little bit more detail in a minute. Um, just wanted to say, how have you all had a good week? I haven't been on for, a, I wasn't on last week, and I do apologise, and I've, I can stress this a lot. Um, but as you, as we all know, sometimes we have good days and sometimes we have bad days. And when I had a bad day, I didn't want to bring that vibe on to you guys because, you know, you don't need it. So this week we've got an amazing session coming up. Um, and I just can't um, edify this lady as much because she is just a great talent. Um, Sarah um, has been an holistic therapist now for way over 20 years. She is absolutely amazing. And um, she talks in layman's terms as well. So we'll all understand exactly what she's saying. She mainly works with women um, and helping them to clear their emotions and their patterns um, around stress, anxiety, and all of the elements of emotion. So Sarah, are you ready? I am, thank you, Amanda. Wow, what a lovely introduction. No pressure there then. Um, I'm really just a normal person. I've worked in the holistic world for, as Amanda said, 20 years. Um, where does the time go? And I am really passionate about working with women and empowering them. And for me, a lot of the work that I do is around shifting emotions and helping women progress and empower themselves. So Amanda was chatting to me about the group. I'm obviously in menopausal age as well, so it's all good. And a lot of the things that we do cross over together. We're very interested in oils and crystals and energy and alternative ways of managing symptoms to keep us as balanced and well as we can be. And one of the things that we talk regularly about is anxiety, which is often a symptom of menopause as the body changes and it sometimes gets swept under the carpet I think Amanda because it's not necessarily something that you can see it's not something that's there all the time but it can be really really difficult to manage when you're trying to do everything that we try to do because women generally we're working we're running homes we've got families maybe grandchildren children at home all those things and when anxiety hits us it can be really quite um, devastating in the effect that it has on us and our confidence. So one of the things that I've done with quite a lot of groups, which goes down well, I said to Amanda, would be quite nice to share in here and see if some of you guys can um, get some value from the little process that we do. So I think Amanda possibly put a little advert in and I call it, it's like the four step process. And it's heart, breath, visualize, affirm. Okay, and I'm gonna talk you through why each little bit is important and how you can use these steps to help in, as if you like a toolkit to help you manage your anxiety. What I would say is um, they are all in that process for a reason. And if you follow the entire process, it definitely works. But I also recognize that if you're in work and you're suddenly hit by a wave of anxiety, you may not want to do all four of the steps. But what I suggest to you is that if you, if this resonates with you and you like some of the things we talk about, that perhaps you take some time to come back and listen to this video because we're gonna do them together. And get very familiar with it so that when a wave of anxiety comes in, you might choose one or two of these steps, perhaps backed up with an oil or a flower essence or whatever it is you currently do. And that extra layer might help make the difference or make your ability to control the anxiety kick in quicker. OK, so the first one is heart. And um, all we do is physically cross one hand and then the other across the chest. And the reason that we do that is back in whew, 1999, I think, when I learnt um, Reiki treatments and massage, we were always taught to detach from the client at the end of the treatment. And so when we do this physical um, representation, 
we detach our energies and what I found is that when we are anxious and when people work with um, when you're working to help people release anxiety is we have that feeling that we're kind of not in control we're out of our body and the very physical um, expression of doing this it kind of brings us back in so it's the intention of I'm in my body I'm safe I'm okay almost as though we're giving ourselves a hug yeah so yeah. one of the um with one group that we're suffering with real anxiety we we would actually move from side to side because we were giving ourselves a hug we're okay okay so then the breath well we all breathe that's great <laughs> you know however we get into patterns of bad breathing and because breathing is something that we do that we don't consciously think about um, what happens is when we are feeling certain emotions, our breath pattern will change imperceptibly. OK, we're not consciously aware it just happens. And so if we can do some focused breathing at a point when we feel anxiety, it just gets us out of the anxious breathing pattern and into a calmer pattern. And the other thing it does is when we start using our our brain to consciously think about how we're breathing it's giving the brain something to focus on and taking it off the anxiety track okay think of a spiral we spiral into anxiety and when we focus on the breath it begins to bring us spiraling out of it and then visualization I'm going to talk to you or talk you through a very short visualization it's very easy so there's a common misconception that in order to um, meditate or visualize, we need to sit cross-legged with our hands like this going on. We don't. Mm -hmm. and the idea of the visualization that I'm trying to use in this process is imagine you are years ago when we used to take photos, we would have our holiday photos and we would look at a picture. And when we look at that picture, the memories connected to that time come flooding back. So I've got a, a picture of me and a couple of um, girlfriends. We had a holiday in Mallorca. And when I look at that picture, we're all happy. We're all young. We're all suntanned. The sun's out. And I almost feel like I'm back there. And I catch myself smiling and I'm looking, thinking, oh, I did love that orange top I was wearing. Mm -hmm. All that kind of thing. So what's happened is we've got a picture, a physical representation of a memory. And when we look at it, it connects in our brain to that memory. So the way that I use visualization in this um, process is we're going to do the visualization together. And the reason that I say to practice it a few times after this um, live, not when you're in anxious state, but actually just practice it. So it's a tool that you can use is that you will get to a point where you will be able to close your eyes and the visualization will be, if you like, your holiday snap. And the feeling of calm and peace that we create in the visualization will be what emanates when you picture in your mind that snap. OK, mm -hmm. so that's the idea behind it. And I do like to sometimes I think there's that, oh, you know, if we're, we're saying statements and we're breathing and we're doing all these strange things. There is a reason behind it. And I like to, it's not woo woo. It's not witchy. It's kind of really quite logical process okay um, and then the last thing we're going to do is affirm so I'm sure most of you have seen books on affirmations you're probably on websites with affirmations and mantras and really what we're affirming with is a very short mantra and all a mantra is is a little short statement that helps us connect to the words and as we say it again, we'll connect to that feeling from the visualization and we'll bring in that um, that feeling, really. So we will use something like I am safe. OK, if you keep repeating to yourself, I am safe, I am safe, I am safe. The brain begins to think, yes, I'm safe. If you keep telling yourself I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious the brain oh yes I'm anxious and it will kick in all those processes that when you're anxious the body thinks you need to do to protect yourself so each step in it has its own place but the beauty of it is if you're in the middle of an office meeting and anxiety comes in you might not want to cross your arms like that because everyone might look at you and that might increase your anxiety yeah. 
what you can do is you can picture yourself with your arms crossed in your head if you're good at visualizing or you might just choose to very very silently do the breath thing and silently in your head state an affirmation or the mantra so there's lots of um i don't want you to think that oh this is lovely but i can't take 20 minutes to do it you can pick and choose the little bits mm. is particularly at night because i do know that a lot of menopausal anxiety can kick in in the early hours again that's something you can do those um four processes at one o'clock in the morning if you can't get back to sleep and you can do them really really quietly without disturbing your household yeah. so that's kind of the idea behind it so what i thought it would be really nice for us to do is to do it together and um i appreciate if you're watching this live and you're at work then i would suggest you come back to this because i'm going to get you to close your eyes but for those of you that are at home and are able to amanda and i are going to do it together just so you can see how the process works you happy with that amanda 100 percent fabulous okay so i always if i'm in control i would like to make sure that people have their feet on the ground i know i'm bossy um <laughs> or you can do it stood up but feet on the ground because it's kind of connecting you with the earth and bringing you back in so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cross just gently our heart close our eyes just for a second as we do that and then you can either leave your arms crossed over the heart chakra if that's comfortable or if not once you've done that just release the arms down to the side that's it we're just doing it with the intention of bringing ourselves and our awareness into our body fantastic and then we're going to breathe together and we're going to use the four four breath because when we're anxious, our breathing becomes very rapid and shallow. And so the 4-4 four, four breath is just a way of evening the in-breath with the out-breath. So all that we're going to do is in our heads, I will count for you, but you can do it in your head. You're going to breathe in slowly through your nose, if you can, whilst counting to four. And then what you're going to do is you're going to breathe out through your mouth. And I want you to think of it as though you're blowing perhaps a cup of coffee or tea and you're blowing it because it's too hot. So we don't need to do it like that. It's more a case of. And what we're trying to do is just gently and quietly expel all the air from the lungs. And by keeping the in and out breath level, it really helps to calm us down. So let's do that now. You breathe and I will count for you. So we're going to breathe in. One, two, three, four. Lovely. And then out through the mouth. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Just have a couple of normal breaths in your cycle. And then when you're ready, we'll do another one. So starting now, breathing in, one, two, three, four, and breathing out, four, three, two, one. That's fantastic. Just a couple of normal in and out breaths for you. And then we're gonna do one last round of the four, four. So when we're ready, breathing in, one, two, three, four, and breathing out, four, three, two, one. Fabulous. So I think you probably even now can feel as you do the slowing of the breath, the shoulders relax slightly, and very often you feel the chest opening slightly where we hunch forward when we're a little bit um, anxious and also the other thing that happens is you can see when you're watching people the stress and the tension in the jaw just kind of relaxes slightly because we tend to hold it in this jaw and neck area okay so now we're nice and relaxed i want you to keep your eyes closed and we're going to visualize together so just allow your breathing to be normal for you keeping your feet on the ground with your eyes closed. I want to, you to imagine 
a seat that you are sat on. It can be any kind of seat. And as you can see it in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine that you're sat in it and it's really comfortable. It is like the most comfortable seat that you've ever sat in. Feels like it was made for you. It supports your back. It's comfortable, your arms, it's almost like a hugging chair somehow. So whatever kind of chair comes into your mind, I want you to really create it. What color is it? Has it got cushions? Is it more of a sun lounger? Whatever chair comes into your mind and you're happy with, just picture it, note its color. Are your feet on the ground or have you lifted them off in this chair? You can feel your breathing and it's just nice and steady and easy and you're sat in your comfortable chair. You feel really relaxed, safe and supported. You can feel one breath coming in and then it goes out. And the next breath follows. As though time around you is standing still as you sit in your chair. Now you've connected with your chair, I want you to look around the room that you're in. This is your room. It's the room where there's no compromise. What is in this room is exactly what you wish it to be. It may be minimal. It might be painted in rich Moroccan type colours. See how your room unfolds around you. Pay attention to the colours. Is there a plant in there? Maybe a lily or something with a favourite smell. Is there any pictures? Is it cluttered? Is it clear? It doesn't matter. This is your room as you wish it to be. What's on the floor? Is it dimly lit or bright? As you create the picture of your room, just allow the details to unfold. Is there any music in the room quietly playing in the background or perhaps a piano? All the things that you would love to have in your room, that's just your space. And as you look around, I want you to sit in your chair, fully safe and secure, supported, enjoying the ambiance of your room, the smell that associates with it. And when you're in there, it's as though you feel really still, when you're happy with your room, it has everything that it needs. I want you to breathe in. And as you breathe in, I want you to say to yourself, I am safe. And you breathe in feelings of safety. And as they come into your body, you feel feelings of safety flowing through you. And as you breathe out, you see little bubbles that say safety floating from your mouth. They float into your room, sending the safe vibration through it. And then they disappear up into the ether, to the universe and beyond. I am safe. And it feels good. And then as you breathe in, you say to yourself, I am secure. And you breathe in feelings of security. And you allow those feelings and the vibration of security to flood through you, filling your entire being with those thoughts. And as you breathe out, you breathe out thoughts of security. 
of being secure. And you watch those thoughts float up into your room, the universe and beyond. And it feels good. And then you say to yourself as you breathe in, I am grounded. And you feel as though you are completely and utterly glued to your chair, safe, secure and grounded. And you breathe in those feelings of groundedness and you allow them to flow through you and from you. You feel almost rooted to the ground. And as you breathe out, you breathe out feelings and thoughts of groundedness and what it means to you. You watch those feelings and thoughts float up into the room, into the universe and beyond. And it feels good. And as you sit in your chair, in your room of choice, you smile to yourself. For it is though this space is somewhere parallel to the world. For in here, all is still, all is calm and all is peaceful. And you allow those feelings to flow through you. For you are safe, you are secure and you are grounded. You just take a few moments to allow those feelings to flood through you. Enjoying the stillness of your room, furnished exactly as you choose, with the chair supporting you in the most comfortable way you can imagine. And holding those thoughts and feelings and the picture of the room in your mind Feel as though it's burning almost into the brain. So that when you close your eyes and you ask to see your room, it will be as though you are looking at a picture. And when you look at that picture, your heart will be full of joy as you see the things you have chosen in your room. And you will smile and nod as you see how calm, safe and relaxed you feel. All is well in your world. And then you just gently bring your attention back by opening your eyes. Your feet are on the floor, just gently tap them just to bring your awareness back into the here and now. And then a nice way to finish is actually to do the heart again. So just cross one arm and then the other over the heart yourself a little tap just to make sure you're fully here and then we're done so that Amanda was the four step process that we talked about and as I said at the start you can do all of those things but actually when anxiety hits if you have practiced those four um what what will happen is there will be one or two that perhaps are appropriate for you to use wherever you are when you're anxious mm. or will be maybe your favorites you'll find that they work more but if yeah. you experience um you know a prolonged session of anxiety particularly at night if you can do all four of those it will really really help yeah absolutely absolutely thank you it was amazing i'm so relaxed now it's great <laughs> yeah you um, don't want to say anything nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, working with you um through my anxiety you know I'm menopausal I'm human we're going through a bit of a transition period at the moment uh, across the whole world and yeah. um I know that I've started visualizing with you in, in different ways doing visualizations and some people find that they can and some people find that they can't do it very easily I find it's my thing um and some people might find the mantras their thing or the deep breathing yeah. If I'm in a like maybe I don't know some family members getting on your nerves or you're out and about and somebody's standing too close to you and you know that they should be social distancing, <laughs> uh, 
we all get a bit angry and, and stressed about it. So I just find that doing the deep breathing really helps me. Um, so doing all or one of them is going to help, especially when you're at work or a colleague getting on your nerves, things like that. It just really helps. And I used to do it at my desk and no one knew I was deep breathing at my desk because they can't see my breathing. They, I don't have to close my eyes to do it. I can just control my breathing and do a few mantras and they don't know that. So you can use these. It's such a useful four useful things to do and then when you go to the toilet if you're at work then you can cross your arms and protect yourself do you know what I mean I used to use yeah. the toilet loads for different things like that um so thank you so much for that it's just amazing and the, the beauty of it is we're going to have that in the group now um so people can actually replay that again and save it so they can get to it quite quickly yeah and I think it's one of those things what I find with people is once they've done it maybe three or four times it mm. becomes very easy and actually they don't need to listen to it they're able to really do yeah. it. it but yeah, it's yeah. definitely worth practicing if that's the sort of thing that you um you know if it resonates with you absolutely and um just to tie in as well that um, if you are feeling anxious, then we do have the oils um, and we have oils for all different, like say if you prefer woody oils or you for uh, florals, I know that Sarah, you like quite um, woody oils, don't you? So yes, you I'm can... a tree person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like we've got the forgive, which just helps you to forgive, but also then helps to calm you down. We've got um, passion, which gives you courage and confidence. So there's different ones that will help with different emotions. So there are, you've got tools in your tool bag for lots of things. It's just choosing which is right for you. And it may be that once it changes week by week. I know mine does. And um, so it's just good to have all these tools in our in our life life support toolkit, I suppose. Yeah, Is there anything absolutely. else you want to add, Sarah? Or? No, I think um, I would say that I love the forgive one. And the thing that I like about it easiest is because it's a rollerball. I don't have to mix anything. I don't have to think about it. I just unscrew the top, pop a little bit on my wrist, do that, have a little sniff, and I'm good to go. And I, you know, it definitely makes a difference. And for most of us, I think our lives are busy. There's lots going on. So, the more simple we can keep things, the more likely we are to do stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the beauty with the yeah, the, the rollable. They're ready to go, so they can just pop them in your pocket, and you've gone. And you've, and also when you smell them, within 22 seconds, that's going to get to your brain. So it'll help to calm you down quite quickly. So, it. Um, I smother myself in different in oils in different <laughs> situations. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you very much for that, Sarah. And I know we'll probably see you again sometime in the um hopefully not too distant future on here. Okay, but, well if if you get any questions that anyone listening to this has that wants to ask me, by all means ask, you know, ask away and I'll try and help. And other than that, I hope it's been helpful, ladies, and I will hopefully see you soon. Lovely. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, bye, Amanda. Bye.